Hey guys, so today we're going to look at a few ways we could uh, dispense water for our showers. You, you know, in my car, I, I have a couple of ways to, to shower. You know, I have an outdoor shower and an indoor shower. But we're just going to talk about how to dispense water. And, you know, you could use uh, these things for indoor or outdoor. It's up to you. Uh, but we're going to go from, you know, something really inexpensive uh, to something a little bit more expensive. So uh, let's take a look at what we have here today. So first we're going to start off with is this little nozzle here this is the, the least expensive option for sure and it's actually quite effective so uh, you know you just basically take a bottle your know, two liter bottle or something like that and you squeeze this on and let me show you and, you and you know if you want a little more pressure you just you can just squeeze it a little bit harder if you want a little more pressure so you know this is actually a really really cost effective way uh, to get the job done. You know, you just put the cap on the bottle when you're not using it. So it, it actually works really well. Um, I'll leave a link on the description for this and, and also a link for something that's a little, uh, maybe a little bit better, uh, newer than what I have here, but uh, the, it works exactly the same way. So next up is uh, this little battery powered thing right here. This is not a lithium ion battery. It's just a regular uh, double A, uh, but it's this, this uh, Craftsman, it, it's a it's a sprayer, I think, you know, like an insect sprayer or a fertilizer or something like that. But um, it's not very expensive, maybe, maybe like uh, $10 or something like that at the Lowe's, I think I got it at. But um, what's nice is that it has this extra tube that you put and, you know, you could seal it off. Um, let me show you. Save water, I'm going to... reuse the water so you know, just take off the cap and this uses basically the the same type of cap that's like on a on a, a one gallon milk jug or something like that and you can see when you put this on it's watertight so that's really nice you take this cap here squeeze it in and from there let the water prime and you got a really nice sprayer and you can see it the pressure is really good well it's not really good it, it, the pressure is good uh, and that that's nice because you don't want to spend a whole lot of water when you're camping you know you want to conserve as much water as you can and you can see you know this is a really effective cheap easy option basically you know just use almost you know any yeah, uh, not any bottle, but of course any bottle with this type of lid and you got yourself a really inexpensive, easy way to shower. Not just that, um, you could take this around the campsite, you know, use it to wash your hands and things like that. It doesn't have to be just for a shower. So, you know, this is a really nice option. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for all these things. Okay, next up um, is these, you've seen these, these are, you know, these, uh, these sprayers that you just pump and and these types of sprayers are nice because you know you, you don't need an extra um, water container or anything like that you just it's self-contained you just keep the water in here and when you want some pressure you just pump it up and, you know, that's the drawback. You do have to pump every time you need a little bit more water pressure, but let me show you. So here, you know, I, I took out the sprayer nozzle because it was a long wand and it, it just missed too much. But you can see, you know, this gives you a good amount of water. And again, uh, you could take this around the campsite too, uh, you know, wash your hands and, and whatnot. But you know, every time you do need some water, you, you know, not every time, but you will need to repressurize it. It holds the pressure for a decent amount of time. You know, it's not like you're gonna have to pump constantly or anything like that. You know, you could see, um, you'll probably have to pump a couple of times if you're gonna actually take a shower, but. You, you know, this again is really handy if you want to take it around the campsite. It doesn't have to be just for the shower. Uh, 
you know, and, and these are pretty inexpensive too. You know, this is a, a one gallon. I think it's, you know, maybe like $10 or something like that. You know, maybe 15, but not very expensive. Um, and you know, you don't have to worry about recharging the batteries or anything like that. Now, this next thing, uh, actually I bought this one because it was, it was on sale on, on Amazon, not because I actually want to use it, but you might have seen some of these things before. And what it is, it's a USB rechargeable um, unit. And, you know, having a, a power uh, sprayer, of course, is, is very attractive and USB rechargeable is also very attractive. Uh, in, in the past, I've actually never bought well, I shouldn't say never. I had a, a plug-in version that uh, I used at one time. But um, one of the drawbacks is that you, you turn it on and off here in the unit. So you have to dunk it in, take it out, turn it on and off. But this one claims that you could uh, turn it on and off with the sprayer. So, you know, we're going to test that out. I've actually never even used it before. But uh, they're all basically the same. But um, the drawback of these types is, you can see, this is not going to fit in just any container and really if you don't have a bucket to put something this big in it's probably not that useful for you because this is just so big but if you do have a bucket and you do have a, a big water source to you know get a bucket of water this can be a very effective method to take a shower also All right, I had to get some extra water because uh, you do need a, a significant amount of water for this to be immersed in it. So this one, I, I got it for $10 and that's why I had to buy it. Not because I, I wanted to use it, but I, I actually bought it for a video like this so I could show you guys and demo it to you. Um, so it comes with two different sprayers. One is like a shower type and you know this is like a kitchen type but the, this is the type i'm interested in because you know i don't want it running constantly i want to be able to turn it on and off so let's give it a shot so there's a power button here so we're gonna turn on that power dunk it in all right now i guess it just keeps running it doesn't actually turn off and you can see um it this one's actually really powerful and and where it's really turn this off so um if you didn't have this nozzle and you had this shower nozzle you would have to actually go in the bucket push that button to turn it off and that's one of the things that i never really liked about it is that you had to pull it out of the water to turn it on and off um, in addition to you know needing a, a bucket basically to do this but one thing that might appeal to people is, you know, some people, you know, they have great long hair and, well, that's just their curse and, and they, they have to wash their hair with some water pressure. But uh, these things, the water pressure might not be enough for, for people who, who are cursed with long, great hair. Uh, I don't have that problem. I don't have that curse. But if you do, you might need something like this that has significant water pressure for you. Last is this, you know, this Sunjo water sprayer. I've, I've seen the praises of this thing all the time. It's USB rechargeable. So it's a lithium ion battery. One thing I really like about it, it's self-contained, you know, they, you just add water and you close it. You don't need an extra bucket like uh, you know some of these other things. Not that one, but this is essentially a, a sprayer like this, but it, it's powered and the shape of it is fantastic. So it actually works really well. Get some water in. That's enough. This one, you just turn it on. And you can see the water pressure. Um, this one, again, the water pressure is not as good as this one, but it's really efficient. You know, you, you won't waste a lot of water. I mean, I, I go through a whole camping trip and never even 
use this whole bucket sometimes because it's just so efficient with water. Um, uh, this one is a little bit more expensive. Uh, this one's around $60. This one I got for $10. I don't know what the price is right now, but sometimes they range between, you know, $10 and $30. You know, this one's around $15. This one's maybe $5 to $10 for this. And this is, you know, maybe $8 for three or something like that. This is uh, the cheapest option. But anyways, so these are the, some of the different ways that you can shower and they can range from really inexpensive to a little bit more extravagant, you know, $60 for a sprayer. It's, it's not cheap, but you know, it works great. Uh, I, I really like it. Uh, this guy, you know, I'm not a big fan of it because again, you just need a, a bucket to, uh, to get this big old thing in and you know, you got to turn it on and off while it's in the water. Uh, but again, if you do have a lot of hair that you need to wash, this might be the option for you. Uh, this is another, you know, inexpensive way uh, to do it. You don't need to worry about batteries or recharging or anything. You just do the hand pump. You know, that's, that's very attractive too, not having to worry about power. This guy, you know, it, it uses very little power. It uses a traditional uh, AA battery. So there, there's some advantages to that. You, know, you don't have to worry about, you know, recharging or anything, just swap out the batteries. Uh, but you, you saw it actually works very well too. And this guy, oops, this guy, uh, no battery, no nothing. You just kind of squeeze the bottle if you want more pressure. And uh, for your money, hey, this is the best value. Uh, it's not the most fancy option. It's not the most extravagant, uh, but value-wise, it's by far the best value. But anyway, so I've, I've gone through a, a few different ways that you can shower it, and you know, whichever one uh, suits you is the one that's best for you. There's no one size fits all. Um, uh, for me, again, this this is the guy that I like the most. Um, second place, it will probably be this guy right here. Uh, this guy is last because I don't like, I don't like the the big, how big of a thing that you know this thing has to go in. And, you know these two guys, I'm going to say it's a tie because I like the power, uh, the battery power of this, but I like the size of this container. It's nicer, you know, getting bigger containers and it's not self-contained. That that's you know often a hassle, but not that big of a hassle. Anyways. Uh, just a couple options for you guys uh, to kind of see what might work best for you. All right, good luck.